What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to bring you my first vlog style manga review from my channel. And it's going to be about Pink by Kyoko Okazaki. Alright? This is the second manga published in English by this author. The first one being Helter Skelter, which I picked up back in July. Uh, yeah, so I enjoyed Helter Skelter a lot, so I went out and picked up Pink, the author's second book. So yeah, a little bit about the author, uh, Kyoko Okazaki was a pioneer of women's comics. Um, she was known for what you could kind of call Gyaru manga, which is which translates to gal manga, uh, which is not shoujo enough for all girl audiences, but for older girls who was interested in a love story and also sex and drugs. So yeah. So she's a pioneer of Jose Maga pretty much. And this is a Jose Maga. And props to Vertical for trying to get Jose Maga published into the English speaking world. Uh, because historically Jose Maga has not sold well. And it's kind of a shame because there's a lot of good stories out there like this and Helter Skelter. You know, uh, yeah, so the basic premise here is that it's about this girl named Yumi who loves, who really likes two things. She likes the color pink and she also loves her pet crocodile. So by day she works as an office girl, but she doesn't make enough money to provide for her crocodile who she named Croc. Um, so what she does is by night she is a prostitute so that she makes some extra money to support her crocodile because she just really loves that crocodile you know. So yeah this this book is full filled with a bunch of strange eccentric characters including Yumi and the story also revolves around another person called Haru who is someone that is close to the same age as Yumi, who is fooling around with Yumi's mom. And then she tries to get involved and interfere and cause all kinds of trouble. So, that's the basic premise. I don't want to get into too much before this turns into a summary. Um, yeah, speaking of prostitution, there are some interesting things going on within this book. The author believes that all work is prostitution and all work is also love. And both love and capitalism are the two scariest things in the world. You know, but you don't want to admit that you're scared. You know, you just gotta kinda go through it and all that stuff. It's also about trying to find happiness. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting themes going on in this book and something else I really like about this book is the art style and I'll show you a few examples here as you can see it's pretty cartoony simplistic but I don't know to me it is I haven't really seen a whole lot like it so it's kind of a fresh look for me Just a little bit more. So yeah, it's kind of unlike the art style is unlike most manga that I've read before. Um, yeah. So because of the art, I'll probably re I'll I will probably revisit this manga at least maybe a few more times in the future. Um, and you will like this book if you're into you know stories about a girl and just all these weird people just it's it's really interesting to see how things play out in this book and you will not like it if you are offended by mature content cuz let me tell you pink and helter skelter were both shrink wrapped for good reason you know like i mentioned there's prostitution so there's like a lot of nudity and sex and just all that kind of thing you know uh but yeah do i recommend it i definitely recommend it 
uh, give Jose Manga a chance. Virgil's taking a chance trying to get this thing out here. So uh, I say try it out. Buy it. And if you like pink, maybe you'll like Helter Skelter. If you already read Helter Skelter, then you'll probably like pink. So yeah, that is pretty much my review for this book. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. It's easily accessible to people who don't even read manga. But you have to make sure they're not offended by sexual content. Um, yeah. So I enjoyed it quite a bit. And that's about all I got to say about it. So yeah, if you like the review or whatever, let me know. Send me any questions, comments, or concerns into the comment section or whatever it is you guys do down there. Uh, thank you for watching. Till next time.